Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. The customs units in Ogun State are not resting on their oars. They are going after those who are found culpable as far as smuggling is concerned. But before we continue, we'd like to remind you that all our top stories can be found on our website. That's channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Please visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. We'd also like to tell you to please interact with the eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app. If you have pictures or videos you'd like to share with us, tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. Now to Ogun State, where the headquarters special Team C of Ogun State Axis has intercepted a truck suspected to be laden with prohibited goods. Led by the Chief Superintendent of Customs, Ismaila Aminu, Aminu Umar, the patrol team impounded the Volvo truck while on routine patrol along the Shagamu Benin Expressway. On examination, it was discovered that the truck had over a thousand cartons of smuggled frozen poultry and fish with duty paid value of 9.9 .9 million naira. The assistant controller of customs, Shitu Almaruf, warned that the agency's anti-smuggling strategy is out to check the activities of smugglers. From there to the southeast region where the Anambra state governor, Willy Obiano, has restated his commitments to complete all projects initiated by the past administration. He was speaking during the commissioning of roads in three communities in Anambra Central Senatorial Zone of the state. He also promised to initiate even more projects that will help attract investors to Anambra State. This is a newly constructed nine kilometer Enuguku Nemo Okacha Junction Neni Road. Before now, this road was in shambles until the intervention of the state government. But now, business activities has resumed and the market is busy again. Governor Willie Obiano has come to flag off the road. After I was elected, I came here. Uh, this market and uh, the road was so narrow and we had all kinds of challenges but i'm happy it's uh, a big uh, road already the residents are not unmindful of what impact this would have on the socio-economic activities of the area so many people who promise so many things and do maybe one out of the many or none at all but yeah, your method of governance has given everybody hope in these states. A fanfare greeted the governor's arrival at Obeledu, where another three and a half kilometer road is commissioned. The road, aside linking several communities, will decongest the heavy traffic usually seen at the Okacha Junction, Neni, especially during festive seasons. The two-and-a-half-kilometer road at Akweza community is another area Governor Obiano commissioned. The state government is appealing to residents, especially traders, to take ownership of government infrastructure and desist from heaping refuge inside the drainage channels. Despite the assurances by the NNPC that fuel scarcity will abate on Monday, the situation in Benin City still remains the same. Many fuel stations still do not have the product, while those who do are still selling above the approved price. Chairman of the Petroleum Task Force Monitoring Committee, Ame Osunde, attributed the continued scarcity to the failure of the NNPC depot in Wari to meet its target supply for Edo State. He is appealing to the Minister of Petroleum, to intervene towards ending the hardship suffered by residents of Edo State. 
refused scarcity is yet to abate in Benin City, the Edo State Capital, despite assurances from the Minister of State for Petroleum. The NMPC depot in Benin City was vandalized some years ago. And since then, the major supplier of PMS has been the private depot in Ogara and the NMPC depot in Wari. Chairman of the Petroleum Monitoring Committee, Amel Sunde, blames the scarcity on the failure of the NMPC to meet its quota to Edo State. For the past two days or three days, we have a lot of fuel, TMS, at the Wari depot. And the agreement on ground is that 60% for Delta State, 40% for Edo State. 86 trucks was loaded in worry as at yesterday. Only six came into Edo State. We also noticed, the Petroleum Monitoring Committee noticed that program meant for Edo State, they started selling it in worry. The staff Edo State of what belongs to Edo State because the refinery is in worry is not in Edo State. We are calling on the minister to tell the area manager to call the worry depot manager to order. Fuel is still being sold at 135 naira per litre, while long queues can be seen in those filling stations selling at the approved price. It is hoped that the supply imbalance to a dose state gets sorted out for normalcy to return so that the approved pump price can prevail. You're watching news across Nigeria. The federal government has given the nod for the Imo State College of Health Sciences and Technology to be upgraded. Stay with us.